Uh, I uh, want to talk about uh, uh, Mr. Pompeo and uh, the reason that I have become interested in Mike Pompeo, uh, CIA director, is because uh, he was the planner when he was in the State Department in uh, uh, Trump's era that uh, architected the assassination of our dear General General Soleimani. And uh, uh, the, the reason that he did it, it wasn't really a very legitimate reason. He uh, uh, wanted to sweeten uh, himself or United States to Israel. I guess he was kind of buddy-buddy with uh, uh, Netanyahu. Uh, he, he did it like as a favor. Uh, he used the U.S. drone to assassinate uh, the top, uh, almost uh, the top uh, number one uh, general in, in all of Middle East, in, in the world. And uh, the reaction, well, Soleimani was the person who uh, dismantled really the ISIS all over Middle East, and he he was uh, he was a very fine person, very fine general, and he did everything uh, often very peacefully to disband different uh, ISIS groups, and when uh, he got assassinated, oh my God, the rage that was going on in Iran. It went on and on. Oh, the stupid Americans, they insulate themselves uh, from any kind of news. They're like uh, happy cows. They go on about their day. and But right afterwards, uh, Iran retaliated by killing Mike D'Andro, uh, or uh, he was nicknamed Ayatollah Mike. Ayatollah, yeah, my, Ayatollah Mike. He was the top CIA agent in Afghanistan. Then, uh, if I was in the Iranian government, I would invest a tremendous amount of money and resources to assassinate uh, Mike Pompeo. He is such a menace to uh, any government or any individual that. Uh, dissents or, or does not agree with what the United States does. Uh, I, I do believe that uh, he he violates U.S. law uh, significantly and the uh, U.S. Congress or Senate should go after him. Uh, but he is far more brazen with foreigners and uh, nobody is really safe from him. While he was uh, going out, uh, in, out on his international trip, and he got uh, subpoenaed by uh, a Spanish court. Uh, they want to question him in regards to uh, assassination plot to kill Assange. And Assange uh, basically uh, is a journalist. Uh, he leaked uh, stuff that the U.S. military and CIA was doing. That's all he did. The, it, and in fact, he he did it in the most ethical manner because he uh, oversaw the documents and he did not release documents that would jeopardize individual uh, CIA or military operatives that America has. And he just uh, basically uh, released the documents that gave an outline of what they were doing. So uh, uh, th this uh, CIA chief, uh, Mike Pompeo, is so brazen. And there is only uh, the only solution that many uh, governments have is to kill him, uh, or when he is going on a, a, an international trip, uh, arrest him and take him to uh, Iran uh, and get a gallow for him. Uh, all, there were like 
24 individuals, uh, many of them from, were from Mossad uh, and some from CIA, like uh, uh, Ayatollah Mike, that participated in uh, in uh, assassinating our General Soleimani. And out, out of those uh, 24, four had been killed uh, prior to uh, Iranian government uh, just about nuked the uh, Mossad station in Erbil of Kurdistan. And they were saying that there were a list of the casualties, many of them very high-ranking uh, Israeli officials. They were saying that some of them were also part of this original 24, but the then uh, after about a week, there were like four more Israeli Mossad high-ranking officers got killed in different places like in Abu Zabi or uh, two of them, they got killed by a suicide drone. And Iran has promised that we're going to get you for, the, for what they, they have done. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if there was a connection between uh, uh, Mike Pompeo and uh, the way uh, uh, Khashoggi, the, uh, the journalist, was killed. Uh, While well, the CIA, uh, I don't know what they did to uh, cover it up, but uh, uh, Mike Pompeo was violating U.S. law. Uh, the, not only uh, he uh, pursues uh, uh, journalists like Assange, but, but also he uh, has met with uh, uh, Reza Pahlavi, Iran's, uh, uh, you know, the prince that the, the last prince of the Shah family, and also f with Maryam Rajavi, MKO, and uh, I guess they were all financed by. Uh, by uh, bin, Sa uh, bin Salman gave them $350 million to go after Iranian diaspora. Like, uh, well, the Iranian diaspora, we are very, uh, uh, like, diverse groups and we are extremely vulnerable kind of people. Usually the, the people like me, they're academicians, they got all kinds of nationalities, for example, I, I am a U.S. national, but uh, many of them are also U.S. nationals, or they're nationals of uh, like countries like Sweden or uh, Britain. And, you know, from the standpoint of legal protections that we we might have in many of these countries, we are extremely vulnerable groups of people. Uh, Mike Pompeo is pursuing us. Uh, making little deals with uh, uh, with with terrorist organization MKO to harass uh, uh, Iranians that are like in U United States. Or the, the stuff he's doing is uh, not only a violation of U.S. civil code, is uh, unconstitutional. Uh, his uh, behavior and activities towards journalists, the, some of them like from Australia, like Assange, is, is a violation of international law. He's, uh, he's like a rogue uh, CIA operative. And uh, I don't know, in uh, you know one of the episodes of Simpson, uh, you see that the, the, the Americans, they do something they go into France. Well, I, I don't think it was France, it was Iran, and they kill a major general there. And then uh, France nukes them. <laughs> well, the, uh, Pompeo is going to bring, uh, bring uh, warfare to, to his hometown, really, because uh, he singularly pursues uh, anybody that dissents and doesn't agree with the, with the U.S. philosophies or policies. He, he's a threat to journalists. He's a threat to Iranian diaspora. 
his uh, threat to activists, uh, vloggers, and he should not uh, be uh, going around the world. He's, he does not hold office right now. Uh, he's breaking U.S. law. He's breaking international law, and uh, also uh, uh, major foreign powers. They want to assassinate him. He might bring violence into the uh, U.S. Uh, he, he needs to be stopped, uh, and the Congress or Senate should have hearing on his activities and, if possible, curtail his activities. Well, thank you very much for my uh, uh, for visiting my Instagram and YouTube. Uh, please subscribe and uh, leave messages. Don't be shy. Thank you.